Hey everybody, this is Melissa from Whaley Bookkeeping. I'm glad to have you here with me again. I'm going to finally get to my second video, giving you a little bit of a demo on how to go from GoDaddy to Wave Bookkeeping. If you're an Etsy seller, um, you hopefully watched my first video showing how to export your transactions from GoDaddy. If you have not done that yet, they are still allowing you to export your transactions if you have not signed up for a paid subscription. So that's good news, especially if you kind of checked out over the holidays, which I did, but not always a good thing for Etsy sellers to check out over the holidays because I'm sure most of you had a really great sales over that holiday season and I hope you did. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm just going to show you the first steps you want to do in setting up your Wave account. Um, so that's going to be pretty easy and pretty straightforward. Um, first let me get over here. So if you have no idea how to set up a WAVE account and you have not set up a WAVE account yet, what I would suggest is to log on to YouTube, look up WAVE accounting, and they have amazing uh, recorded webinars and demos on how to actually start your account. So I'm not going to go through the very first, you know, click the sign up button steps today because hopefully if you're a little bit web savvy then you can figure out how to create your account. So once you have created your account and you've logged into Wave, this is your dashboard. This is what you're going to see, the first thing that you're going to see when you log in. And if you have no transactions in there, then it's going to look like this, which is awesome. Um, so the first thing as an Etsy seller that's going to be really important is integrating your Etsy account with your Wave account and also if you use PayPal with your Etsy account then integrating your PayPal account or your bank account depending on where your Etsy payments are sent. So I want to show you one thing. Um, so this is my dummy account. This is called Your Retail Business. Almost everything in Wave as far as settings is hidden right here in this account settings little button up in the corner. It's kind of hard to find if you're new to Wave. It's always really confusing to new users. Um, and everything else is found in here except integrations. So when you want to integrate your Etsy account, your PayPal account, or if you use Shoebox for any of your receipts, those are over here under the account tab in the far right corner. You're going to click on account and it's going to say integrations. So that's where we want to go. And as that loads, you'll see that there are three preloaded third party apps that connect right now with Wave. These are tested, they work well, and they're easy to connect. So um, right now we want to do Etsy for shop owners. So we just hit the connect button right here it's going to load up and it's going to give you all of the information. It says you're signed into Etsy on a different tab as Missa Loves Coffee, which is my Etsy account. So perfect. Um, it just gives you some information that it's 100% free online accounting for Wave for your Etsy shop is trying to connect to your account. Please give us permission. You can revoke access. I want to allow access because I want to be able to do my bookkeeping. Alright, so it says, alright, let's get this set up. We want to make sure your Etsy account is in US dollars. We'll import your Etsy sales. Um, I guess that's when my first sale on my Etsy thing is. I only have two sales because my Etsy business is just a dummy account as well for me to <laughs> use transactions. We want it to go into your retail business. I have multiple businesses in my Wave account. I will discuss that in a different video. If you only have one business, it should be right there. It should be the business that you're logged into. Which um, payment account do you want to put your Etsy income into? So this is an important question. Um, we'll talk a little bit more if you've watched some of the uh, WAVE setup videos. They'll talk to you about income accounts. So if you have nothing set up yet, but you know that your Etsy money, when you get paid from Etsy, it goes into your checking account, that's where it wants to want, we want it to go. If it's a different account, um, then we might need to go back and set up that account before we link your Etsy account. So click the plus sign to create a new payment account. So exactly, if you need to create a new payment account, you can do that right here by clicking that. So say you have multiple bank accounts, say you have a PayPal account, anything like that, you can 
add that right there so it's linked to the right thing. So right now I'm just going to say it's going into my business, it's going into my primary checking account, which is all I have. Save these settings. So right now, Wave is importing your Etsy transactions. Pretty cool, huh? I love it. So they're importing. You can click right here, and it'll go straight to your transaction screen. Transaction screen is basically le your ledger. This shows you everything that is happening in your account. So right now, um, it's... Uh, it looks like it's imported successfully. Now I can view and categorize them. Okay, thank you, Wave. Um, it doesn't want to show any of them right now. Okay, so it's not loading any of my transactions at the moment. Sometimes that happens. It might be because I have, like, no activity on my <laughs> Etsy account, so I'm not going to be too worried about it. If you link your account and it shows this and you log in the next day and nothing shows up then we have an issue and we'll have to troubleshoot that at that time that's something that I can do one on one with you or if you want to get on email chat um, or if you pay for the phone service with Wave um, and Etsy then you can try to troubleshoot it yourself just depends on how much time you have and how much effort you want to make so that is how to connect your Etsy account if you also use your PayPal account. So if your Etsy payments go into your PayPal account rather than a regular bank account, you would want to connect your PayPal account at this time. Caveat, if your PayPal account is also linked to other businesses, say you have a separate eBay business, um, or you use your PayPal account for more than just your Etsy shop, I would suggest to not connect it because it will cause more issues for you to have to be deleting and eliminating transactions that don't pertain to your Etsy business. When it comes to bookkeeping and taxes, and I am a bookkeeper and I am a registered tax preparer, you don't want to be meshing multiple businesses transactions into the same account unless you have one parent company that you're going to be reporting all of your sales from say your eBay and your Etsy into one tax form. Usually people like to keep it separate. That's up to you. That's something that you want to discuss with your tax preparer or with someone who knows about taxes, but make sure that they are a legal tax preparer because there are lots of people who say they know about taxes and really don't. They're not certified. They're not legal. I could go on about that, but I'll just leave it at that. So that's something you need to figure out whether you want all your businesses loading into one set of books or if you have multiple businesses, if you want them separate. It's really easy in Wave to have multiple businesses under one um, login. So right here you see I have my retail business. I can switch to my actual bookkeeping business books. I have a dummy account for service. And then these are all my different, I have clients accounts linked here in Wave so that I can monitor my clients accounts and help them with their books right from the comfort of my own office. I don't have to go to them. They don't have to come to me. It's beautiful. If you have, I'm going to jump back, I know that was a big caveat, if you have your Etsy payments, so you get paid from Etsy and it goes into a checking account, a bank account, your best bet and the easiest thing you can do is to connect your bank account with your Wave. However, I will say that not 100% of all banks connect with Wave, unfortunately. Most of them do. As you can see right here, it's showing Comerica. That's where I have my um, business bank account. I just linked it onto this dummy account to show you how it works. Um, I used to have a credit card on here, but I don't use it anymore. So anyways, you can connect a new bank right here. If you use any of the major banks, they're all there. If you use a local bank, most of them are there. If you use a credit union, it just depends. So you can click one of these here. You can also add a credit card. If you use your credit card to pay your Etsy fees, if you use your credit card to buy your supplies for whatever you're selling on Etsy, you want to have all those accounts linked to your Wave account 
so that all your expenses and income is flowing seamlessly into WAVE and you're able to track it and it's not going to take you hours upon end to manually enter or manually import all these transactions. When you have all of your bank accounts, your Etsy account, your PayPal account, your credit card, anything that you're using for your business, if it's linked into WAVE, then it's going to make your life so much easier. So that's what, that is the first step to linking your Etsy account into WAVE. Hope it made sense to you. If you have questions, feel free to email me or feel free to comment on the YouTube channel, comment on my personal blog, um, and I would be happy to answer questions for you guys and to help you guys through this process of connecting your Etsy seller's account to Wave Accounting. All right, well, hopefully I will see you guys